crafty friends. Hope everyone's having a very nice Friday. Um, I'm getting ready to do a um, a project share that I um, have been doing. Um, many of y'all, I know y'all have been seeing how, 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 how. And um, I have been working on some long sanding projects. Um, laying around crocheting some at night. Uh, making paper beads. Uh, last week I um, altered a pin cushion. I also had this one big uh, Halloween project that I'm getting ready to show you guys, but um, I, I haven't got it listed yet, and um, i got to get my husband to help me get it in here because this heaviness is made out of plyboard, and um, it's just a scrap pot plyboard we had. I didn't want to throw it away, and I got this idea, and I decided to do it, but anyway, for those of you that have missed my last video, and to all my new subbies that have just subbed to me this week, Thank you so very much for subbing my channel and becoming a part of my um, YouTube YouTube uh, wall. Uh, I really do appreciate the support, and uh, it's a pleasure meeting each and every one of you. And um, I did go back and resub those that subbed me, so um, I'm also a sub on your channels as well. I'm trying to keep up with that, and um, I had a hard time trying to keep up with comments this week, but I did try to catch up the best I could. Um, I think I missed a few, and I didn't mean to, but I was just, I was getting kind of, like, tired that night and ended up, um, just, I couldn't type anymore. But, um, you know, I do try to comment whenever I can and, uh, you know, show the people that I am reading the postings and I am looking at, you know, the ones that have subbed to me. And thank you so very, very much for the support. Well, um, for the newbies that, um, were not in my channel last week, I made, um, this very beautiful egg-shaped uh, pin cushion. It's just a Napco egg, and that's uh, it's the Napco was made in Japan, and it's a really beautiful rose. Um, it doesn't have any on the other side, but it's got a rose pattern, and I love this color. And um, I found this at the thrift store for forty-nine cents, and um, I was in, you know, I, I decorated it up. But of course, in my other video, I tell you about what I did with it. And I also made these stick pins, and I thought these stick pins were so beautiful. My first really actual set of stick pins for myself that I have made for myself, and my actual first actual pin cushion that I have made for myself. So this is all my creations, but um, all of these beads except for the porcelain ones and the silver ones um, were given to me in racks, and, uh, thank you so very much, ladies, for all these beautiful beads that, that you gave me. I have my own little, uh, personal, uh, jar of rack, uh, rack beads, you know, people that have sent me beads in certain racks, and I decided to use them, so now I have something very beautiful to go in my bathroom with my other stuff, which I will be doing a video of that, too, of, um, you know, my, um, dresser unit, but anyway, um, that was my project for last week, and then I had a huge, gigantic haul, and I'm trying to um, start putting some of my projects in, because y'all have just seen haul, 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 and you're probably saying, my gosh, this lady does nothing but shop. Does she ever craft? Well, yes, I do. I do. I do a lot of crafting, and usually at nighttime, but I have been working on some very long-standing projects that I wanted to do the, during the summer and uh, the past few months, and they're just time-consuming. And sometimes you have to walk away from them because you get fed up or disgusted and tired. So you have to walk away. And then later on when you get back in the mood, you go and try to finish it up. So I have two or three things that are finished that I'm getting ready to show within the um, this week. Well, anyway, um, in eBay a while back ago, um, I had heard something about a, a, a paper bead rolling machine. And um, this is... Uh, it's called the s and C Paper Bead Roller Rolling Machine. It's handcrafted in Roanoke, Virginia. And uh, um, in YouTube, there is a YouTube channel called Mason Mills at YouTube.com. So if you go to Ma Mason Mills, M-A-S-O-N-M-E-A-L-S at YouTube.com, you will see a um, tutorial of what how this man has made this piece and how to work it. And it's like, I think it's like $20 for the, or $19.99 or $20-something dollars. It was a little over $20, but it wasn't maybe, I think, $21 or $22, I'm not sure, with the shipping and all. So I bought it because I thought it was interesting. 
I have made paper beads by hand, and there's a lot of tutorials in um, Facebook. I mean, um, YouTube, and well, even in Facebook, there's a um, a bead uh, a bead site in there. And uh, in YouTube, there is um, a lady by the name Janice May, and then um, BA, BA Crafty Girl, I think. So, several um, that have showed, uh, Jenna Bell, Jenna Bella, um, she has uh, shown some uh, tutorials of paper beads. But anyway, I went to Joann's one day, or no, it was in Joann's online, and I found a paper bead template that makes all different kinds of sides of beads. So I ordered the template. So if any of you guys are interested in making some paper beads and want to get into this hobby, you can find the paper bead template in Joann's online store. And I got the template. It makes, you know, round beads, uh, barrel beads, bugle beads, um, just all different kinds of beads. Uh, wavy beads, um, the cone beads, just na you name it. But you have to put the template on a piece of paper, and you have to draw it out, and then you cut it. And it is time-consuming, but if you don't know how to make these beads, that is the best template you can find. But if you have a paper cutter, which I do, that has like the inches on it, I, you know, started getting, I started out with the template first. And then I noticed that I could do the same thing on my paper cutter without having to um, use the template on some of these beads. So that's what I did. I used my paper cutter. But this thing is so cool because you put um, you put your paper this way. And you, could, you it's left-handed or right-handed. I'm left-handed, so I'm using with my left hand. But it does have the right hand, so it can be reversed. And there's a little bitty crease right in here that you stick your paper in. And then you just start winding up, and you hold, hold your paper right here, and you just wind up. Um, he's got his sitting on a clamp, uh, a clamp sitting on the table. I'm working on my bed, um, on the mattress, and um, without any clasp or anything, and bead rolling really quick. Sorry about my hands. I've got some glitter um, all over them. <laughs> I was finishing my project, and I do have something funny to tell you. Well, anyway, this is what the paper bead rolling machine looks like. I love it. You can make the beads faster. And you could go through beads all day. I mean, all day long. It, it just it, it gets addicting. So I really like this machine. So um, I'm not sure what his name is, but he um, there is another S. Marsh. So I, I don't know if it's uh, Mr. Marsh, maybe possible, or uh, Mason Mills. Um, thank you so much for making such a neat, nifty tool. I really do love it. I enjoy it. It doesn't hurt my hands. Um, I can sit there like this. I can watch TV and roll up these beads practically with my eyes closed. And, you know, just glue them up and pull them off. And they are just awesome. So I really do like this machine. So if any of you ladies would like to learn how to make paper beads and get into paper bead crafting, I strongly recommend you purchase this and the bead template from joannes.com. You can also learn how to make the beads on with tutorials without, you know, um, having the template. But the template does get you started, if you know what I'm saying, on, on how, how to make these beads. Well, anyway, um, I do have something funny before I show this project. Last night, I was finishing off my projects. And, uh, except for I had two I wanted to finish off this morning. And I, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I really don't. I went into the kitchen, got me something to drink. And I had uh, taken my bottle of, of silver glitter, which is called Sparklers. I need to find that. I've only got one bottle of it. And it's really, it's better than Martha Stewart. It's better than glitter glue. I love it. I love it. And it's called Duncan's uh, Sparklers, uh, Silver Sparklers. But it's like a, a glitter paint. You know, you paint it on. Well, anyway, I was I went into the kitchen to do something. I think it was to get a drink. I had um, taken the lid off the silver bottle, um, and I, I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't. I was sitting there, <coughs> and um, I just picked up the bottle and just shook it, like you know. And I mean, really, like shook it. And oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, 
in the way I shook it, it was aiming towards me, not, you know, across the room. So, so when my face got splattered with uh, glitter, my glasses got splattered with glitter, my nightgown had glitter all over it, the, my blanket, the cat got some on him, and, I mean, it was, I mean, I'm, I was like, oh my gosh, so I'm trying to wipe it down, I get a washcloth, and I'm trying to wipe it down, and uh, the more I wipe down, the more it smears, you know, it's just getting glitter everywhere, so I had to get the stuff off my face. And I was wiping down with on my face, but all it was doing was spreading glitter all over my face and my eyebrows and my hair and I was <laughs> So I'm like, oh god, and it was getting late and I couldn't I didn't there was no ways I could take a bath that late. My husband, you know, he was already in bed asleep. And I couldn't wake him up, you know, having the bathtub run and he'd be wondering you know, what are you taking a bath at twelve o'clock at night for? You know, what's going on? So, I, I had to just clean up the best I could. And I went to sleep. I got up this morning. Went to, to dive in the tub. And, you know, I, I figured a bath. You know, I'm going to need a bath. So, I took a bath. And I, I mean, washed myself down really good. Got out of the bathtub. Dried myself off. And get ready to get dressed. And I'm looking in the mirror. And I still have glitzy glamour all over my face. <laughs> Silver highlights in my hair. And, um... It's, it's, I mean, I've got glitter on my arms, my, my legs, my stomach, my back, you name it. It's all over me. So, um, uh, just in case you do this project, please make sure, or if you do, you work with glitter a lot, um, make sure you, you put your lid back on before you shake the bottle. Because if you don't, um, it, it's almost like having a bottle of ketchup being splattered all over you. <laughs> but anyway, I, I mean, I, I, couldn't help but laugh. I mean, I, at first I said a little nasty word, and I'm like, oh, you know what? And, uh, but, but then I, I started, you know, looking at myself, and I couldn't help but laugh. I mean, it was hilarious. So I did get a good laugh last night. Honey, I needed it. Okay, well, enough with my gibbering. It's time for me to show my projects. This is what I've done. Um, I made some flower embellishments, and, uh, these can be used as flowers you know just decorative flowers that you can put on your layouts or your cards um, they could be used as brooches uh, pendants um, what else was it uh, maybe a bracelet you know to put on a bracelet Christmas decorations um, you name it I mean I see multiple projects with this I just don't see just one particular flower um, you mean you, I can make a pendant, I can make a brooch, um, Christmas decorations, it was something else I was thinking about, you know, putting on layouts, putting on cards, putting on boxes. Um, you, you just, you can let yourself go with this, this, many gifts you can make with these too, and very, very reasonable. Um, I did use one of my little, um, bead, em or two of my bead embellishments that I, or three, yeah, three of my bead embellishments uh, in the centers, or flower centers, I used, um, I think Jenny644 did a um, tutorial on those uh, a year ago, and I had made up a whole bunch of them, but I haven't used them, so um, this was my way of getting them out and using them, and, and putting them towards something else, and then the rest of uh, what I needed was uh, four millimeter beads, and some 10 millimeter beads or 12 millimeter beads, you know, whichever size you have. So, um, I used beads and I, uh, four millimeter beads and then I used the, the other, you know, types of beads and, um, I used a few bead caps and, um, cut out myself one and a quarter inch circles with my punch and these are what I came up with and I cannot wait to show you these gorgeous, beautiful flowers. This is the one. And what I did is I, pay, I, I um, used the paper bead machine and glued them all together. Got all my beads uh, made up. Um, I'm using scrap paper, just uh, like like you know, um, DC VW scrap paper or just scrap paper that I have in the pads that of a paper that I don't really like and I know I won't use because it, it had an ugly pattern to it. And I just didn't. I know I won't. I know I won't use that. So. 
I'm trying to find some things to do with the scrap paper that I don't like and the paper that I do like, save that, hoard it, and use it for what I want to use it for. But um, the beads that, um, the paper that I don't like, I can do something with it and not let, you know, let it just sit there and uh, go to waste. So this is the first one, and what I did, I used my little um, bead embellishment. Um, Jenny 644 has a tutorial. There's also other tutorials about this bead center. But um, I glued them on to the cardboard, and I glossy accented uh, the little uh, pearls on the edges of the holes. And then I uh, painted it with some silver glitter, just to give it that pink glittery. Then I took um, some Maj Paj. And this is what I came out with. So this is the first one. And then I came out with, um, I did different colors. This is a kind of like a um, royal blue. Really pretty, or it's kind of dusty blue or navy blue. Not real navy navy, but it does have a blue. And it was a, a, a paper pad that I just, I knew I wasn't going to use. It was ugly, I didn't like it. The pattern um, it was going to just waste so I said you know the ones the, the paper that I don't like I will make paper beads with so this was the second one and I just put a bead center in there and this one I doubled a double layered so I glued these on first on the outer rim so there was a little circle on the inside and I just on the very edge went around and so I could still have a circle glued the uh, pearl on the inside and that's the second piece then I um there was a, a mint green one and this paper was ugly oh my god it was super ugly I would have never ever ever used it but it made a really pretty decoration and you know this can go on a tree really actually I put some bead caps on the top some pearls in between the rows and um I used, instead of silver glitter, a clear glitter on this one. It does sparkle, but you might not be able to see it that well. And uh, But anyway, it made it incorporated the same way. And then I have um, this real beautiful red one. Uh-oh. Drop it. And these, when they dry, they feel like, I mean, they, they sound, when you tap them, they sound like plastic beads. That's how, how um, hard they get. And that's one I made. And this one I just used 4mm uh, pearls and 6mm uh, pearl. 4mm uh, pearl, 5mm pearls. And they're just doubled up. And um, I put the uh, sequin uh, paint on it or the sequin uh, type of stuff on it and um, or glitter paint and over top of the design. And then I just glued the beads with the glossy accents, and that's this one. So that would make four. And then this one, I mean, these would look pretty on a Christmas tree or given as a gift for Christmas. And this one here is um, some red metallic paper, Christmas paper, which I probably could have used, you know, in my, in my scrapbooking. But... Um, I just wanted to try it out to see what the beads would look like, just in case I decide to buy a metallic um, cardstock pad. So this is the I, this was kind of like a tester, but this is in like a bright red uh, metallic uh, color. And then I just took some silver uh, glitter paint, and then I did that after the silver glitter paint uh, dried. I put the Maj Paj over top of it. And the thing about the Maj Paj, if you put the Maj Paj over top of this glitter, the glitter will not come off. So you have glitter decorations that you don't have to worry about the stuff flying off the tree, getting in your carpet, and everything else. And that's that's the good thing. Then I made this one, and this one was a little unusual. The thicker the paper, the larger the bead. So this is the thick cardstock. I think uh, that green one was a thick cardstock too, and the pink was a thick cardstock. But this is what the thick cardstock um, came out with a much larger bead. I actually ended up uh, getting two ornaments uh, out of this. And like I said, I haven't put any string or anything on the back of them yet because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. Um, I have named like several different names of what I plan on doing. 
uh, you know, pendant, uh, brooches, Christmas de de decorations, altering a box. So there's a lot of things I plan on using, maybe these four. So I'm not going to really do any more else to them until I get ready to decide to do whatever it is I plan to do when I get ready to use them. So there was that one. And then I had another red one, and these were the leftover beads from the two red uh, red ones I did. I didn't want to see any beads going to waste, so I tried to use as many beads as I could to make, you know, the um, items. Now I used one, two, three, four, five, six, six, mm, I'm saying seven maybe. Seven, um, yeah, seven different pieces of scrap paper. So I got quite a few items from, from that. And this is another one that I made. That one could be used really as a Christmas decoration, I think. That would be pretty. And that's uh, what it looks like there. So paper beads can actually turn out to be a fun little hobby. Something very reasonable. You can use even use magazine paper. Um newspaper, you know, and paint them yourself. So you don't even have to have scrap paper to do this if you don't have the scrap paper to, to you know, use. So, you know, if, if you have the acrylic paints, you can paint these. All you would really need, though, would be some uh, some glossy accents and some Mod Podge or either, um, and some glitter paint. Or you could use varnish, uh, a clear polyurethane on these. Um, you would still need your glitter paint, and you would still need uh, the glossy accents, though. But um, this is the last one, and I thought it turned out super pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Very, very beautiful. So this is um, what I worked on this week. Um, it took me a, a whole day to pretty much so roll up the paper beads. So, you know, um, I, I just sat all down all day long just rolling away and um, cutting and rolling away but then uh, last night and the night before last you know it, only a few minutes basically not not long at all maybe an hour that's when I got them all pieced together so that's that's how um, quick these projects are but anyway this is what they look like and um, I thought I did a pretty good job so if you women like to, to do paper bead work or get, would like to get interested into a very reasonable crafting project that doesn't take long to make, makes beautiful items, um, you'll be seeing, seeing more of my projects to come. So I hope you like my video and thank you so mo very much for watching and thank you so much for the support. Y'all have a very nice weekend. I love you guys. Bye-bye.